Hey there, uh, it's Chris from Pie for Breakfast, and I got some good news today. I received this in the mail. <clears throat> so if you can't see, uh, it's a package with some little pandas on it. And what this means <clears throat> is that it is from Panda Game Manufacturing, who is the company that is making, uh, is printing La Mancha right now. And what this is, <clears throat> is the first uh, printed box of La Mancha the card game. So I wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing video. Uh, so I'm incredibly nervous right now. I'm also, I've never done an unboxing, so if I'm doing this like wrong, um, sorry. <laughs> uh, but I've only got one take of this or I'll, before it's unboxed. So um, let's get to it. So hopefully, so they put this in really good, uh, really well. Uh, let me aim this down at the tabletop so you can see what I'm doing. Um, they taped this off really well. So hopefully I can get into it well. Um, ooh. So one thing I'm immediately noticing is that the, the material quality on this box is just really awesome. Um, it, <clears throat> it's a matte finish with a nice, um, here, let me, there you go. It's like a matte finish with a nice like linen texture to it. And so there it is from the front. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, there it is from the front and on the side you can see it has uh, windmills and up top you can see Sancho's donkey the bottom there's uh, there we go uh, the golden helmet and then on the back there we go so yeah, lovely. Cool, so let's take a peek inside, shall we? Um, yeah, this is very bright. Give me a second. Not sure it quite knows what to do with the lighting. So let's take a look. All right. The first peek at the real La Mancha. All right, so there's the instruction booklet, nice and glossy. And uh, setup directions and an introduction. Gameplay rules that walks you through the different phases of the game. And this has been all proofread and I've had people take a look at it. And then here it starts like a reference section so you know what to do with individual cards. Um, we have some frequently asked questions including stuff about the game's connection to Don Quixote but also some gameplay stuff. And then by popular demand a Spanish language pronunciation guide for players who have not uh, do not speak Spanish. Um, cool. So and then there's Pie for Breakfast logo on the back. All right. So here's the thing everybody's been waiting for. Obviously, the cards. So they come in these little baggies. And if we open them up, you can see the print quality on the cards too. So it's kind of hard to see, but they have a nice linen texture to them. Um, there we go. Let me wait for the thing to adjust. I don't think it's going to focus that well. There's a lot for it to look at. But um, yeah, it's got a nice linen texture to it. The cardstock 
Very nice cardstock. Oh yeah, that feels there's a there's a linen texture to it, so it feels really nice uh, rifling through them. Uh, sorry, the, the exposure's a little high on the camera. Um, so we have those were the Knights Gear cards here, and then you have ah uh, reference cards. And this looks like it is the treasure deck. Yeah, these came out, it's hard to see, sorry. <laughs> these came out very well. Um, so yeah, that's all treasure deck and knight's gear. Wow. Uh, so the card stock is pretty thick. One thing I'm immediately noticing here is that like the card stock Feels very nice. It's light, but it's very sturdy. Aha! So here is your the chivalry cards uh, with the blue background. Wow, the exposure is really terrible on this. I apologize. Um, the blue background and uh, also the let me find like one of the, there we go. The Let me see if it improves if I bring this up here at all. Um, there we go. Uh, here's the art for, this is the journey deck with the, here's the windmills. Um, and then for another one, here is Dulcinea. And uh, here's a card with Sancho explaining to his wife uh, going on the adventure. Uh, and then, oh, here is the here is the glittering helmet story prompt that uh, includes the golden helmet of Mambrino. But you see. Um, one of the things that we recently added was the story prompts have uh, indicators of, of who each character, like each player will be in the story. So the person who is acting as the judge um, gets to be a person in the story and it gives the knights telling the story some nice reference of like who they should act like. That's, um, that, that's been pretty well received in playtests and I think it clarifies a lot of... Um, a lot of how the game works. So, uh, yeah. So uh, one of the other things that we did with this deck, this journey deck, uh, after some play tests, was divide the cards into uh, one, two, and three. Parts one, two, and three of the deck, and that helps create a nice balanced, come on, There we go. That creates a nice balanced experience so that you're not you're not getting smacked around by windmills quite right away. Um, it's a few turns before you see stuff like that. Uh, and then there's there's number three. And this card is one of my favorites, the wooden horse, Clavileño. And yeah, so um, this is really exciting. Uh, we're going to be probably doing some play tests with this. Let me, let me uh, <clears throat> show off some of these cards you didn't get to see before because I was fumbling around with them. There's Knight's Armor, um, so Don Quixote's Armor. 
Uh, every player gets a reference card that reminds you of how many chivalry cards and other interesting information about the cards uh, as you draw them. And then also uh, when you're doing your feats, uh, this will help you uh, if you put this face up after you've made a successful feat attempt. Uh, that's a nice reminder for everybody at the table that you've made a successful feat attempt. Uh, and then let me find, whoops, <laughs> uh, here is the, uh, for protect oh yeah, okay, there is a typo on that card, but um, not a big deal. Uh, so yeah, Governor's Armor, there's Sancho stuck between the two shields, and let's see, what else? Uh, ah, aha, the famous... Golden Helmet of Mambrino. So there we go. And, and when you're up close, you can see the linen texture on the cards. So that's it. Um, we're probably going to play uh, some games with this uh, deck in the near future. And I will uh, try to get a live stream going of those. But that was, let me get all this together. Drop the cards earlier. Uh, and then this last one is just more uh, more chivalry cards. So as you can see, lots of uh, and usually players do go through these uh, within the course of a game. Um, so, uh, but yeah, those are, that's the La Mancha deck. Oh, and here's a turn card so that people know whose turn it is. And it just has turn card on both sides. And of course, our black and white dice. Oops, I can't do anything tonight. Um, but that's it. That that's La Mancha in a box. So um, look forward to seeing more from this in the coming weeks, and we will be, uh, like I said, doing some demos of the game coming up soon. Um, of you know, online of live gameplay and boxes, nice thick cardstock. Um, so that's it. That's La Mancha. Let me let it focus. If it will focus. There we go. There it is. Uh, the retail edition of La Mancha. So um, keep an eye out. Next few weeks we're going to, like I keep saying over and over again, uh, we're going to be doing some uh, demos online and we will be uh, sending out more information as manufacturing uh, really kicks off. Uh, you know, it usually takes, I think, a few months to get all uh, 1,500 that we've ordered manufactured and then sent over. As a uh, friend of mine said, there are boats involved. Oops, sorry, <laughs> uh, shaking the camera. There are boats involved. So um, I'll let you know as that gets to us so that we can get them to you as fast as possible. Uh, thanks, everybody, again, and uh, have a good night.